made it. We've made it to the south. We're in Ho Chi Minh, aka Saigon. How do you feel, Jasper? I'm very excited because obviously the city is filled with lots of history. Uh, we'll be learning more about the Viet Cong, the tunnels, um, and how the communists ended up getting a stronghold here. So I'm very excited. But before we do that, before we do that, okay. we're gonna get some coffee. So here are all the different types of coffee they got here. Cold brew, cold drip, and iced coffee. haven't noticed the Vietnamese take their coffee very seriously like very very seriously which I'm very happy about right, so Jasper doesn't drink coffee but she has started drinking coffee whilst we've been in Vietnam but this is going to be her first straight coffee with no milk whatsoever so we saw our wonderful barista making it for us. Now it's time to try it, Jasper. Mm. It's strong. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? It's strong. <laughs> Do you like it? It's nice. It's nice. Maybe with a bit of milk. <laughs> so I've organised a little walking tour. Got my mat ready. I'm going to do the old school way, no Google Maps on our phone here, um, to go see all the main sites here in Ho Chi Minh City. So there's, there's many quirks to Vietnam, many cool quirks that you should know about. Number one is that the pavement isn't used for walking on. The pavement is used for scooters and for little restaurants with plastic chairs. So I've already found a friend on our walking tour. So. This is a statue of Tran Hung Do. He's famous for defeating the Mongols when they tried to invade Vietnam. So, first bit of history for you. So here you will find the scooters, <laughs> which Vietnam is famous for. So behind me you can see the Caravel Hotel, which was famous for its curved corner shape. It was actually bombed during the American War, so on the 5th floor, count your way up to the 5th floor, a bomb exploded inside and this is housing a lot of the ambassadors for New Zealand, Australia and America. So this is the Municipal Theatre, um, but it's still famously known as the Opera House. So this is the People's Committee building, which is famously known as one of the headquarters for the Communist regime. So behind me is the famous Notre Dame Cathedral built in 1877 and in front of it you can see the famous statue of St Mary holding an orb. No hunchbacks were hurt in the making of this cathedral. <laughs> So our, our tour has taken a slight break while Jasper uh, had a look at the local bookstore. So she gets distracted quite easily with any book or stationery store. So Indy got a bit tired on my walking tour. No surprise there. Um, so we decided to take another mode of transport, one that we haven't tried yet. Uh, maybe you can see what it is. A bit of a sombering end to our walking tour today. 
Um, a lot of this particular war museum is showing the hardships that um, the Vietnamese were facing during the war, um, how a lot of them were tortured, um, imprisoned um, by the Americans uh, here in the south of Vietnam. So uh, yeah, a bit of a somber feeling now. Our lovely tour, walking tour today, has come to an end. Our lovely tour guide here, Jasper, um, has facilitated this wonderful tour. We finished off at the War Remnants Museum. It's been quite a somber feeling here to learn more about the Vietnamese War and the atrocities committed against the Vietnamese people. So during our trip so far, you've seen me talking about the fact that as a teacher, I've taught about the atomic bomb in Hiroshima, the Korean War, and here the American-Vietnamese War. And all three of these examples really emphasize the importance of learning history and learning the lessons from histories and, and, and learning the different narratives that there are. Back in schools in the UK, we might be learning about one perspective, but it's so important to see the other perspectives and other narratives there. Um, and I guess for us, this trip was learning a lot about the experience of, of the people in these countries, how they felt, how they dealt with it. Um, so once again, I'm really grateful that we've taken this trip to learn more about those things. Jasper, you're walking down this pavement right now uh -huh. and it's turned into a road. But this is the pavement, I swear. This is the pavement. This That's is the pavement. The road That's there. the road there. This is the pavement and it turns into a road once in a while. Here comes another dude on his bike. So for dinner, I brought Indy to a place called Propaganda. No irony there, considering we're in Vietnam. So, perfect place to be and the walls have been painted with communist propaganda so uh, a perfect place for dinner wouldn't you say? True and I've also found Jas Jasper's doppelganger and there's me painted on the wall <laughs> So we're in our final part of the tour to end the night on a nice high note. We're in a place called the Shree Lounge, um, which has a beautiful view of the city. Surprise from Jasper, well played, well played. So Indy's ordered a drink that um, seems to be something like a chemistry set because he's got to make his own drink with these syringes. I'm not quite sure what that's about. Mine comes with a paper aeroplane. However, I am loving the view. 